Hyundai's new electric car innovation is truly brilliant because it really embodies what Elon Musk has been talking about. That is, the best part is no part. Not only that, it improves efficiency of an EV while removing a CV joint, all whilst improving at the same time security, safety of your, your EV, and making it a better performance car. I mean, this technology is brilliant. You've got to give Hyundai and Kia some serious credit for their electric car innovations over the past 24 months. There's been so many of them, and unlike Toyota, most of them actually make a lot of sense. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. One of the real kind of cool innovations that I've seen from Hyundai and Kia over the past 12 months is their new feature they will have on EVs, I think starting in 2025. I made a video about this. It's a ride height feature. So the more wind resistance you're facing, and if you don't need the car to be set high for going over rocks and bumps and things, the car will automatically lower itself in order to give you more range. It can actually increase your range by up to 20%. It's a huge difference. And Hyundai have been working on numerous EV innovations like this to improve range. They're not the only ones. Many companies are working on some really interesting technology that makes big differences. Here's one example. Yesterday I made a video. Volkswagen have just put a different electric motor into the EVs which improved efficiency by 6%. That's a big difference because not only did it improve efficiency by 6%, but it improved power by 25%. When have you ever heard of an internal combustion engine vehicle improving its power by that much, like a 50% boost to power and an increase of efficiency by 6% simply by one relatively small change. It's not a big, it's not a big change here. Anyway, moving on to what Hyundai are doing here. Their new uni wheel system shrinks EV motors by integrating drive components into the wheel. A lot of companies have tried this hub motor idea. So they put the actual motor into the wheel. Uh, this is what Lordstown Motors did. Everyone said, I don't know about that in a pickup truck. And I think I personally agree with that. But Hyundai are not doing that. They're doing a different version of that idea, which actually makes a very large amount of sense. One of the things that automakers have been doing is making electric vehicle motors smaller. And new electric vehicle motors that are emerging within the last few months will be amazing for freeing up space in small electric cars. You're gonna see small electric cars with big interiors, you're already seeing those. You can't do that with an internal combustion engine vehicle. There's so much space needed for the engine. Yeah, I know three cylinder engines are smaller, but they're still nothing in comparison to the tiny new electric motors that have been appearing. But Hyundai is saying, well, that's good. We can reduce the size of the motor, but what else can we do? Now, automakers have been bragging about how much room electric vehicles free up for passengers by having more interior space. And it's true, look at the BYD Dolphin. It's a relatively small car on the outside, but it's bigger than a Toyota Corolla on the inside. Electric drive units though, whilst they're small, they can get smaller. Hyundai says it has come up with a new technology that will allow it to shrink its motors even more. In fact, quite significantly, opening up more room for people, their things, or maybe even a bigger battery, for example. Then the latest innovation is called the Uni Wheel, and it represents the automaker's latest technological um, drive towards making more efficient vehicles. Hyundai do have some very efficient cars, and this is gonna be another feature that could make them even more efficient. The universal wheel drive system, which is similar to an Imhub motor, um, but different, uses certain drive components required by an EV, it puts them into the wheel, but not the actual motor itself. The power unit, as in the actual drive motor itself, remains outside of the wheel, but that can be shrunk as a result. The uni wheel relocates the reduction gear into the wheel hub, effectively reducing the motor's size. And this innovation enables Hyundai to employ once more motor for each wheel, relying on a large drive unit for the entire axle. What this will mean is that probably in the future at some point, you'll see small electric cars that are actually all wheel drive. And there's no punishment in terms of weight because of this different way of looking at things. It's actually a very different way of making an electric car. By employing a series of gears located inside the wheel, 
the power from even a very small motor is transmitted to the wheel with enough torque to move a vehicle. This is absolute incredible torque control. Basically what this will allow is electric cars will be able to apply all their power or at least a very large amount of power to one single wheel within a millisecond. This will mean these cars will be much safer as well. Now powering each wheel individually has advantages for performance driving and for safety by allowing each corner of the vehicle to respond independently to its circumstances. So you might have three wheels in snow, they're all spinning, one wheel's not in the snow and it gets traction. But each wheel can actually independently vary its torque output which gives the vehicle a lot better ability to adapt to different situations and theoretically then makes them much more safe. The uni wheel features, well, they're actually even more impressive than that. The way that the gears are organized, they can move within the hub while still transferring power. As a result, the connection between the wheel and the motor can slide up and down freely so the wheel doesn't actually need a CV joint. You probably know CV joints in cars, very common point of the car to fail. They're relatively expensive to fix, but in this situation, you don't need a CV joint. That means the efficiency losses associated with operating this connection at an angle are limit, are basically completely eliminated. And this improves power delivery and driving range and of course, efficiency. So Hyundai have come up with actually quite a few different ways of improving efficiency in their cars. This could be the most interesting way that I've seen so far. Hyundai says that the freedom afforded by the technology allows engineers to control the ride height of the vehicle um, and this also helps improve range. Since there isn't a single sweet spot where the CV joint is transmitting power efficiently, vehicles equipped with a uni wheel and an air suspension could actually lower themselves while driving for a relatively affordable price and this would massively improve performance and range at the same time. It's actually such a brilliant idea. Hyundai says the uni wheel could be squeezed inside wheels as small as four inches in diameter. So in other words, a really, really small wheel. So you don't need to have a big wheel for this to work. And so that what that means is that they can even put the uni wheel on things like um, electric scooters or electric bicycles. It can also be scaled to work in wheels up to 25 inches. I don't know why you'd want 25 inches, but maybe mining equipment and maybe buses, that sort of thing. The company says it has tested the unit for durability and it says that it is performed really, really well. It's not gonna go in cars this year, but it might by say 2026. Hyundai hasn't said though when it will enter production, but to me it sounds like it's a no brainer. And it has filed patents in key markets such as Korea, Europe, and the United States. They said this, we are happy to be able to present innovative ideas that could be game changers in the future mobility market. We are developing technology so that customers can experience mobility in a completely different and new way than before. Lots of things are happening to EVs. Improvements in energy density, improvements in pack density, improvements in the weight of batteries, uh, lots of different changes, including like heated seat belts. Instead of use, having to use a heater in your car, you can use your heated seat belt and your heated seat and enormously improve your energy use in your EV. So it's, well, it's gonna be a, a ton of new technologies coming to EVs in the next 10 years. Very different to gasoline and petrol diesel powered cars where almost nothing seems to change. Just like little small changes. EVs on the other hand though, well, there's a reason I started this channel because EVs are the future and they're actually just so interesting. But do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.